What's up everyone, Devin from Debo's Fishing coming to you from the Do It headquarters. Welcome back to the How We Do It series and today we're talking about painting jig heads. There's a number of different ways you can paint jig heads from airbrush paint to powder coatings, but today we're talking about vinyl paint. Now these are made from CS coatings. Do It carries a ton of different colors in these. Again, everything you would need to make your jigs white, orange, chartreuse, pink, blue, black, anything you need, they've got you covered. Uh, they sell these in a pint, four ounce, and one ounce size, which makes it nice because if you don't want, you know, like a little addition color to make eyes or something, you can get a small one, but if you fish a ton of black jig heads, you can get the larger size. Now, these are not your normal vinyl paints. These are made specifically for fishing lures, uh, a lot more durable, chip resistant. That way, when you're fishing these on the rocks and such, they're not just gonna come off after a cast or two. So I've already got this all stirred up. You wanna make sure you stir or shake your paint so all that's good and incorporated. Now with these, these are just plain jig heads. We don't have any sort of base coat. Uh, Do It does recommend putting a white base coat on here if you want that color to be really vibrant and really stick out. But if you haven't done that, that's not an issue. Um, you can put a couple more extra coats on here if you wanna achieve that uh, without the white base coat. But if you take a look at this, again, super easy to do. I'm gonna dip just to make sure all of the lead is covered and then let this dip dry. And again, you can see here, it's still gonna leave a good color to it, maybe not as vibrant and bright, but there might be situations where you want something a little less uh, you know, of a crazy color, just a little bit more natural looking. So I'm gonna let this drip dry a little bit, and then you'll notice when you get like the little string here, you can kind of rub it across the side and then take your paint and kind of roll it to make sure all that's done and incorporated. So you get a nice even coat. Now with this, I'm using a standing up uh, way of drying these. You can hang them like this, uh, but for specific jigs, for example, like this, uh, the Ned Rig mold, when you put that up like this, you want that to be able to sit on the bottom. And if you've got the paint sagging off the front of it, it's not gonna sit up. So um, you can use one of these holders. If you don't have one of these, you can use something as simple as styrofoam at home, put it in there and that way, any extra paint's gonna be on the backside. It's not gonna mess with the front of it. Another cool use for the vinyl paint is if you wanna add little details to your jig head. So let's say I had this already all dipped in white, looks nice. And I wanna add like that Wonder Bread look, right? So I can take the back of a paintbrush and put on my blue, chartreuse, pink dots, and really dress it up. And you can get fancy with it. You can do anything from gill plates to you know putting like uh, trout spots all across your swim jig head, anything like that, but it allows you to do little spots of detail without you know needing a whole bunch of powder paint and all that. I hope this helps show you how easy it is to use the vinyl paints to paint your jig heads again. Do It has all kinds of different colors, different sizes for whatever's gonna fit your needs. So for more on the How We Do It series, make sure to check out the Do It Molds YouTube channel for more content like this.